Hey again, everybody, Pastor Jason here with the Bartlett United Methodist Church. One of the most common questions that I receive as a pastor is why I wear what I wear during worship. Now I can guarantee that it has almost nothing to do with that time I showed up on Sunday morning dressed as Batman. <clears throat> but in general, folks want to know how I choose my garments and whether they have any kind of significance. If you've ever wondered such things, you're in luck because today we begin a brief series on vestments on three minute Methodism. We begin our series on vestments with perhaps the oldest of them all, the L. Alb comes from the Latin phrase tunica alba, meaning white tunic. Tunics were, of course, the most basic element of clothing that most people had in the early days of the church. Back in those days, tunics were sleeveless, but around about the third century, the tunic began to develop sleeves, and albs have sleeves to this day as a means of covering the garments that we might be wearing underneath. Albs are often worn with a rope around the waist called a cincture that kind of holds everything in place. Albs tend to be white, made of undyed fabric, because the color white represents baptism. See, in the early days of the church, most people were baptized in the nude. But after they came up from the waters of baptism, they would be presented with a new white tunic. So, when we wear the alb, we are similarly being reminded of our baptism and of our place in the church, which binds all followers of the Christ together. Now, in the early days of Methodism, you probably wouldn't have found John Wesley or any of his peers wearing an alb. They wore garments much like those that we will talk about in a later episode of this series. But among contemporary Methodists, the alb is valued because of its ecumenism, which is to say it is worn across a variety of denominations, but it can also be worn by a variety of people. You don't have to be a clergy person to wear an alb. Anyone who leads in worship can wear just such a garment, whether they're an adult or a child, whether they're ordained or a layperson. This takes the emphasis off of any of those distinctions that we might hold or that we might make and lets us know that we are united, that we are one in Christ Jesus. And that, from where I stand, is a beautiful thought. That's all we have time for today, but I hope that you'll join us next time for another episode of Vestments on 3-Minute Methodism. Until then, stay holy, my friends. <laughs>